Hi Virgos and welcome to your November 2016 love forecast with me and this is Heart Divine. So this reading is for those who have their sun sign in Virgos, moon sign, rising sign, and those who have their um, seventh house on their birth chart on Virgos as well. So yeah, um, I kind of feel that I'm picking up quite a lot of things for Virgos right now. So please do bear with me with the information that I am going to be telling you. Okay, so I kind of feel that for Virgos, this month of November comes to be very special because it somehow opens the pathway to where your life is going to be. Um, I kind of feel that there is a strong... A strong um, situation that will I can feel that there is something about stability in a relationship you are forming a stability in a relationship or life is forming a stability of a relationship for you um, something like that it's just that I kind of feel that um, either a woman makes trouble or a man causes trouble for a woman. Something like that comes into play. And then I do pick up someone coming back home or planning a trip. Some form of expenses are being made through this trip. That sort of thing. So, um... I kind of feel that for some of you guys, there is something that you have done in the past. And, you know, um, I kind of feel that there is some form of cause and effect that is happening for November. Probably it's something that you have done during October or in the recent past. I don't know. There is something that you have done in the past and it has some form of effect to how things are going on November that sort of thing so yeah so there's definitely going to be news that is going to be shaking you up that's for sure so um yeah okay so just like I said so earlier um There is something that you have done in the past and it shows us here that you are being stubborn about something. It could be in the past or it could be at the present. There is something that you're really, really being stubborn about it. And it's as if you're doing everything that you can to, to that something that you are being stubborn about. It could be that... Um, It could be that, you know, you have unintentionally made someone feel bad about something just for you for you to feel good, you know, because probably something that did not go your way, that sort of thing, because we do have a lot of Seven of Swords here. Um, I will explain the other Seven of Swords later on, but we do have a seven of swords and strength card over here two cards together and leading with the knight of swords so this makes me feel as if it's as if you did everything that you can to for things to go your way so it's as if you have you have forced something probably it's something that you feel you feel unfair about which is why you did it so Ultimately, it is showing us here that for you at that time, it is the right thing to do. But I do know that it has hurt someone in the process. Probably not in a, in a very devastating kind of state, or probably it is, but it has hurt someone. And at that time, you don't care. You really don't care if they are hurt about it. During this, during that time that I'm, what I'm picking up on is that 
you have done something probably out of spite because of the things that they have done to you or it could be that you know you are wanting to feel better and you and for the first time in your life you want to do something for yourself and this is why you have done this either way it has hurt someone in the process and you have been stubborn about it that is one of the clear message that i'm picking up you were stubborn about this you have done everything that you can and you know you don't really care for you that is the right thing to do so you have moved forward into that it could be just with the verbal communication it could be that you have really did something wrong it could be that you have done something quite unfair to the other person um either of those things that is showing up quite um strongly it could be your own decision you know something in your decision you're being stubborn about that sort of thing it probably has to do with communication or something to do with the mental stuff because we do pick up a lot of swords and air sign is always having to do with mercury something to do with communication so yeah um in the recent past it shows us here that you have um wanted to move forward with things we do have the emperor card and the six of swords is and this is really about you wanting to move forward and i did pick up a clarification card which is the seven of swords yet again and this really means that instead of moving forward it makes you feel as as if you are just wanting to escape something you might tell the world that you are moving forward that you want things to move forward and not deal with the situation whatever that is but in the end it shows us here that instead of moving forward you have just tried to escape the situation it could be that you are in a situation wherein there's a lot of arguments being done a lot of arguments involved between the two of you because we do see communication um clashing up here it could be that there's a lot of shouting a lot of arguments or a lot of disagreements happening between the two of you and you just want to move forward we, you just want out of that situation so instead of you actually moving forward you are escaping the reality escaping the situation so in the end you did not face the situation at hand you have just escaped it but it's not as if you have entirely left the situation as well that is how it makes me feel about this okay so the challenge now is that i kind of feel that on november this is all going to sink in to you a lot of things are going to sink into you so there's going to be a lot of fears that you are going to be feeling about we do have the nine of swords yeah nine of swords and the queen of rods um in the challenge position and this is telling me about there's something that you're now being stressed about and it's always have something you do with what you have done in the recent past and something to do with the core issue of your situation <clears throat> sorry about that <laughs> my voice is cracking up <clears throat> So, um, yeah, there's something that you're fearing about right now. Um, for some of you guys, it could be that you're stressing something about the family, stressing about at home, stressing about a wife or, you know, could be that for some weird goes out there, a man, they are being stressed about uh, uh, their wife. Or for some of you guys who is a wife already, they're probably stressing something about the family so it has something to do with, with that but um for those who are not yet married yet and for those that is going to be linked into this whole mess up situation that they're in um 
I kind of feel that this is really more of fear. And how am I going to face this person now? You know, I kind of feel that what you did in the past hasn't entirely sink into you. But in November, you will realize all this. You will be, you know, there's a lot of things that you are going to be contemplating on. And you are going to finally open your eyes and realize on what's actually happening in your situation. Because we do have the clarifier card of the hangman. And this is telling me that, you know, um, you probably have acted in a way that is not your usual attitude. You know, it's, it's not like you at all. And during this time, you're going to realize this. And, and it's like, oh shit, I did something wrong. And, you know, I don't know why I have not thought about it before. But now I am thinking about it. So I kind of feel that for some of you guys, you are afraid of facing someone. You are afraid of reaching out to this person again. You know that this person is not mad at you. You know that this person will always be really, really good. Whether that person is a man or a woman. They have the energy of the Queen of Rods. And you know that they're a good person. They are always warm to you and you acted like you acted like as if they're not so important to you. So this is really kicking in. It's kicking in and now. There's a lot of things that you're thinking about and a lot of fears as well. So that is definitely going to affect you. But in the near future we're seeing as if that you are probably communicating with this person you're going to start to communicate a uh, communication with this person it's either that or you receive a communication because do remember that the reading can be vice versa it can happen to you or it could be you doing things to them that sort of thing so please do keep that in mind so in the near future we do see that there's something that you guys are working out together Either way, it's not a solo kind of a scenario. I do feel that another person is involved. So either that there's going to be communication once again between the two of you or there's something that you're going to, going to work things out with this person and it's a good thing. I do feel that um, you have done a lot of evaluation. Even though that you have been stubborn and all that, I do feel that there are times that you have actually thought about that person and now is a time of taking action and this is something that you will definitely do you are going to be doing something to probably please someone or um, pursue someone because i do feel that you are going to pursue someone or it could be that Someone in your life is coming back to pursue you, that sort of thing. Because we do have the Knight of Cups over here as well. It's just that um, in November, I kind of feel that you are going to be emotionally driven. Because there is a lot of energy surrounding you about emotions. So I kind of feel that this, is, this has been triggered during the moon in Scorpio. Because we do have the moon and the King of Cups all together here. With the people and energy that surrounds you. So I do feel that um, either the person that you're dealing is a water sign. Or they have that energy in them. Or it could be that, you know, how you are acting is based on emotions. And even in the future, you are going to be, to be basing things on your emotions. Like... Your desires, your wants, is, is all going to the surface. So you can say that the person that you are right now and in the future is the person that you truly are. This is the real you. This is the real thing that you want. And in a relationship setup, I kind of feel that your true feelings is going to pop up as well. That sort of thing. It is showing us here that what you need to know uh, basically is, I, 
I kind of feel that you're a ba- um if this is someone in the past, you're given the chance to make things right. You're given the chance to to really to really fix this. Because we do have the Queen of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles all together in that. So it makes me feel as if, you know, this person is someone that is going to be very important for you. And there is a chance that this person can be your uh can be your wife, your husband, someone that you can create a family on. Because I do pick up earlier that there's something very um there's something forming on November as if stability is being done, as if there's a life changing event forming for you guys. So this person can be a, a wife material or a has husband that sort of thing this is someone is going to be very important so you cannot mess it up and i do feel that you are going to be aware of it you are going to be aware that this person is something that someone that is actually very very much worth it someone that you truly care and truly love so i kind of feel that for some of you guys you are going to be fixing something of some form of mess that you're in. You go, you're going to fix it. And, you know, at the end of the day, it seems that you're going to have a change of plans, a change of mind. Because probably there's something that you have not realized before that you are going to realize during the month of November. You're going to realize some form of truth in a relationship set up that, set up that you're in. And this changes a lot of things for you. Probably something that you have not realized before, you're going to realize them now on the month of November. And it brings a lot of hope and optimism and it brings some form of reality to you. Probably some of you guys are going to the path of marriage or at the very least a relationship that is worth keeping something of a relationship that seems to be a long-term basis you know something that you have never thought about before maybe it's something that you have taken for granted before and now you're realizing how important this person is to you and you know a change of plans a change something in your mind is going to be changing as you realize this person as you realize how much this person truly means to you. That sort of thing. Because I do know that there's going to be a big transformation at the end of and at the end of all this for a lot of Virgos out there. And a lot of hope is in place. So there's actually going to be answers for you. It's going to be answers and, you know, um, everything is going to be crystal clear for a lot of Virgos out there. For some of you guys, maybe that realization might cause some emotional um, emotional shakeup. Maybe some of you guys are in a third-party position and now you don't know how to leave someone behind. And how to be with the other person, that sort of thing. Because we do see a beginning here and we do see you being shaken emotionally, that sort of thing. So it's either of those things. Either way, I kind of feel that, you know, there's something that you're going to be fixing, Virgos. And I do feel that this is going to be prominent in your life and in your future as a whole. So yeah. Thank you for watching and subscribing with me and I'll see you next month, guys. Goodbye.